these monks came here, but they didn't stay here. They always sent out fellow monks to go evangelize. And here you see one of those scenes. You see uh, these, these are friars probably or, or, or monks uh, carrying a boat to go and evangelize both England, the island, and also to travel even to Europe to evangelize. And without those monks that came from overseas to the part of Europe where I was born, we wouldn't have been christened. And so Christianity owes a great debt to these monks. Here you see uh, stalls, uh, wooden stalls, very similar to what you would see in a monastery. These are probably from elsewhere. And then if I bring you up the stairs here, you have this magnificent altar. And this, uh, this altar is completely made out of marble. It's huge. But the, what makes this so special is the marble of this altar was dug up here on the island of Iona. Huge slabs of beautiful uh, marble with green accents. And they carried it here. And here it says, I am the bread of life. So this is where... Um, the congregation gathers. And as I said, this church is nowadays used by all sorts of Christian denominations. And it's one of the, I think, one of the inspiring aspects of this island. It was founded by those monks, and they were sent out to the entire world. And now people from all over the world and from all sorts of Christian denominations come here to pray together and to worship together. So... It is almost as if the fractured world is becoming whole again on this island. And um, we've interviewed uh, a Protestant pastor who has lived here for 10 months with his wife and who's been taking care of the pilgrims. And he told us wonderful stories of how people rediscovered God, uh, recon reconciled with the church, um, and, and went again to, whoops, that's getting really dark if I turn towards the, the window. They really um, uh, were able to go in depth uh, to, to the roots of their faith. And some people have been hurt, damaged by their experiences with their particular local church. But here they found that it was not about that particular congregation. It was the, the roots, the, the origin of their faith is much deeper. It's their relationship with God. And so... Um, uh, those were some wonderful stories that we filmed and that are going to be, uh, I think, uh, great content, I think, for the story that we're trying to tell with that TV show. Um, so it is a absolutely uh, very well possible, he told us, that in the summertime, uh, this entire church is packed and you have to Remember that in order to get here, you have to take two ferries. You have to travel all the way over the island of Mull. So it's really hard to get here. It's a true pilgrimage. And yet hundreds of people, actually thousands each, each, each week, will come here to experience some of that grace, I think, that this uh, place carries. And it, it is the legacy of those monks. You feel that you're walking here in the footsteps of many, many generations of, of, uh, of monks and nuns that have prayed here, that have received here the call to go out and to be missionary and to reach out with the gospel uh, in the entire world. And if you see this place and how beautiful it is, you can imagine that it must have been a temptation to just stay here and just you know, live your life as a monk. And instead, almost all of them went out to evangelize. It's kind of the, the secret, it's the secret of that mission. You know, what drove them, what gave them the impetus to go out and to reach out uh, that I'm trying to discover on this journey through Scotland. So I'll end this uh, uh, little tour of, uh, well, at least this part of the island with uh, a quick visit to the main statue here in the center of this cloister, which is actually depicting the Virgin Mary as described in the Apocalypse. It's a modern statue, but it still has the Holy Spirit. It's got Mary, her mantle in the form of a, a heart almost, carried by 
I don't know, <laughs> beings. <laughs> but it's a really, really wonderful, uh, inspiring place. We're going to go and walk a little, uh, walk around a little bit in uh, on the island, film some more beauty shots to convey the overall atmosphere of the island and then we'll take the ferry back and we're invited by a monk a fa uh, father or brother seraphim who lives together with a few other uh, friars in a small monastery on the island of mall we he was on the ferry with us and he said hey i, I think he's an orthodox monk or, i'm not sure exactly what denomination but he will tell us and it will be very interesting to hear what it, uh, how he feels about this island and why they founded a community so close to these very ancient, you know, early medieval uh, monastic roots in this area. And um, so that was an unexpected encounter, and I guess we'll, we'll have many more of those moments during my stay here in Scotland. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe, and um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon.